Welcome, members of the Wolf Pack. It's your boy Grey Wolf, and we're back with another episode of Rise of the Ronan. We're gonna get to the getting to it. Please, this way. Let's see what's next with this. What our next quest well, is? Maybe do like two I quests. I acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Hang out, Jealous. Really? It isn't me I wish you to photograph. <laughs> but as you like. I like how they, they make you flirt with her no matter what. In the sense of if, if you're a male or a female character, you still gotta flirt with her. I will await you in the central room upstairs. All right, let's do this. Okay, so there's some other spots they want us to capture here. I know how to use my camera. I don't care about his flower. How important he is. Oh dear. I don't know if there's one to take the shot in here. You don't have to worry. Or does one to take the shot back here? Because this doesn't look like anything. And I don't think it is because it's not taking the shot. It's not it's not it's not red. Oh there it is. That's what you want me to take a shot of. Got it. Photograph the rooms. I'm just spying on people. Being a little pervert. Where's my where's, where's my grapple at? Where's the grapple at? There's a grapple there. It is. Oh, yo. I think this needs want me to go up in the ceiling and take pictures of people. It's something like this. Yeah, cause I can, there's no way to get over there, so it definitely wants me to go in the ceiling and probably do some sh some stuff. Want me to be a pervert? Look, I'll have the money very soon. Then I'll pay up, and you and me can, you know. Typical American with a Japanese person. Trying to convince her to, to get married and stuff, oh, just like out here in Japan. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> but how did you get the money? Oh, it's oh, going out there. It's not gonna work. I gotta figure out what this other one's at. Maybe maybe this one is down and uh, some come up with something. Oh, cool. Something like this. Exactly. Exactly. Is there something through here? I'm missing something. So this this some of these games make me make me feel retarded when I'm doing some things, but that's not it at all. Ouch. So it is outside. What's it? It has to be a way to get up here. I didn't even see this way out here. Stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a These seems like like some some pictures that can get people in trouble. And that might might be a oh shh. I didn't mean to jump over there. Not too late though. 
All right, let's go and see her progress this little quest. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Intimidating, huh? Well, when I met him earlier, he stared at me quite frightfully. But please, forget I said anything. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. Just make sure he doesn't notice me, so I'm sneaking up on him. Nigga, come on. Tell me what to do. I'll cut you down. All right, drunk boy. Come on, you do some of this oxtail. hands. Cause his attack's so delayed because he's so drunk. That it's really fuck fucking me up. Oh what the hell? I was not expecting that. So confusing. And I also want to find out that it is a trophy to beat the freaking uh that blue demon the very first time on the on the on the ship, on the black ship. I think I, at least I think it is. Cause I, I was looking at trophies uh and it's like blue to beat the blue demon on the black ship. Unless you fight him again on the black ship. If not, then yeah, there's a trophy to beat him that first time on the ship. I'm about to unleash my most deadly 
Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Kasura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Kasura here is an old student, a close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Dude's a straight up drunk. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else you got for me now. See what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. say the pleasure district is your first base your base will serve as a meeting place for various characters anybody i thought i thought the wish was my was my first base the longhouse let's go close now let's see what's up now he probably wants to talk to me Of course you do. So, oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? Mm. There you go. See, I told you this was the place to come. And there's more. I know there was that incident, but Katsura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. 
Once I find him, I'll introduce you. I promise. You and I are true friends now. No doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Okay. Head to the soccer inn is our next step. But I'm going to go to the longhouse and see who's in there. Cat collecting. Oh, oh. I just asked my buddy the other day, like, what's the use of collecting all these cats? And I'm assuming I can talk to uh, Taka, I think that's her name. And she, probably when, like, once I get a certain amount of cats, she's probably going to give me certain rewards. That's That's my assumption. What the? Where does dog come from? It's a Shiba Inu. Oh, isn't that the pilgrim dog? You can ask the dog to go visit shrines across the land. So it will take a little time. People will take care of the dog on his journey. So letting them carry some money is a good idea. There's a chance he may receive something in return. Conversary. If you see someone else's pilgrim dog, take care of it. I'm sure something good will happen. Oh, we just unlocked something Why don't new. You try it out with this one. I appreciate it. This random guy that was walking around that knew everything about the lore. From a longhouse affixes a money pouch to a pilgrim dog and send it to the shrine in your steed. After a certain amount of time has passed, it will return bearing civil corms charms and other rewards the more money you give your pilgrim dog the greater the reward you are bound to receive sending your pilgrim dog on pilgrimages will increase your likelihood of meeting other pilgrim dogs during their travels during your travels i mean let's go in and give them ten thighs i don't care about money in this game you find whatever you need anyways now i'll just sell a bunch of stuff if i need to but we came in here to see who's we sitting in here Okay. Long enough. So he's in here again. Let's relax. Let's no. Let's, let's talk. There's a cat in here. Let's see if we can give him a yeah, gift. Kind of so this is the dude we, we we rescued the first time. And see, I was trying to figure out what gifts to give him and stuff, but it tells you right here the little hearts and stuff behind it tells you, but like what gifts they like. Right now we have bond level two. I think bond level three is the highest level, wow, anyways. This is great. So he he likes sake and like the Western cigars. Let's see what we have to ask him. Go ahead, ask me anything. I uh, earned a bit of money at the gambling den a while back. Oh, that dice shooter there is one fine-looking lady. In fact, I gave her all my money just to win her favor. But uh, in the end, she ran off with uh, some thug, <laughs> I'm told. Thanks to her, I'm flat broke. If only she give me back my hairpin. Uh, it was tortoise show, you know? Oh. Okay, pilgrim dogs. Maybe an hour. I guess a new hanging troll. This one, weapons proficiency. It's crazy how low this is. Like, yeah, you get more stuff, but it's crazy that they, they give you the option to decorate your house and put things up, and it gives you additional effects. Additional item drops from enemies. Point. 1%. Not even 1%, 0.1%. It's the same thing for weapon. 0.2% weapon. Now I could put a different one up here and it's still the same no matter what. 0.2% that they'll drop more weapons. It's like, come on now. You can at least give me like actual 2% or something like that. 0.2% is kind of crazy. But anywho, yeah. That's all good. It was a pretty good video. There's, there's some pretty good stuff. And we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it with some more of these videos. For sure. Mm, pop it up. So, I appreciate y'all tagging along, man. 
and i'll catch you on the next one.